Well, let's see, she was a character. She had strong will. She knew what she wanted and she was willing to ask for it. Oh, she was um, yeah, yeah. a feisty, beautiful thing. It's like, I'd love to grow old to be like her. Yeah. And she was lovely. She loved to laugh. She mm. loved the arts. Yeah. And one of the music things that we went to over at Haven was... Oh, the big loud noise. She wanted, she, she wanted us to get tickets. She says, there's music at the Haven. Get me tickets. So Grinwalda went and got tickets. And it was... Uh, what was... Bi bitch folk music. Bitch ass folk music. Folk ass bitch music is what it was. Folk ass bitch music. So she asked That's me what's what the show, and I'm like, I don't know. I'm embarrassed to say. So <laughs> it's folk ass bitch music. So we took her over, and it was, it was pretty intense, loud, and and we were like first was, row. It was bitch ass folk music. That's what it was, and it was so, boom in your face. And I thought intermission. I we went outside, and I said, Hey, does she go? Would you like to go home? I said maybe a little too loud for you. She goes. Oh, I like big, loud noise music. <laughs> <laughs> like, can I do? So we went back in and watched the rest of the concert. Yeah. I like yeah. big, loud noise music. <laughs> yes, yeah. and she did stuck like that. with us. She was eighty when she started this. Eighty-five when she started. When she this started place, building. Yeah. So that was just after 80. her husband died, and they had always planned to build here. They lived in Seattle, yeah. and um, when he does, when he died, she just said, "Okay, I'm doing it." So. It wasn't specifically left to be an artist in residence. When she passed away, she left it to the community of Gabriola. Um, and there were three trustees, uh, myself and two other uh, folks on the island. The other two weren't interested in being part of it, so it came down to me. So I started talking to the Arts Council. I said, you know, here's the constraints, because we, we have eight weeks a year that it's allocated to three beneficiaries, all of whom live in Seattle. As we knew her, as she, um, we knew that she loved the arts, and the artist in residence was kind of the first thing that we're trying. Because um, they add to the community, <clears throat> right? They come and they bring their art, and you know, our intention is to have the community benefit, and, and bringing their gifts, their their talents, their their knowledge. They also put on workshops where they um, basically put together uh, a three-day or a two-day or a one-afternoon program where members of the community might participate or other artists might participate. There is a lot of magic in it, definitely. Just the diversity from number one. And it's not just like what they do with their hands. It's even like their thoughts. It's mm -hmm. the artists in residence do add to the community of Gabriola. I value what Toshiko did to let more than one person yeah. enjoy this beautiful piece of paradise. And how inspiring it is being in a location like this. Yeah. It is. And so to me, all it comes to me is like that it warms up Toshiko's heart. That to see that it's yeah, yeah being see. shared. Hey Toshiko, here to you! <laughs> <laughs>